This is a presentation of APMU multi-company enhancement. My name is Ashley Berger and in this video we're going to show you the general features of the product and we'll also give you a live demo so you can see it in action. First, let's talk about the business need of AP multi-company. This enhancement for Stage 100 allows you to do intercompany postings to other companies' accounts payable in, for General Ledger. Specifically, you can do invoices in AP and you can expense other companies and then have it automatically do to and do from postings. We had this feature available in APMU for AP invoices, repetitive invoices, and manual checks. We do have other manual company products that address the needs for intercompany postings in AR, purchase order, and general ledger. There are two types of companies that use DSD multi-company for accounts payable. The first type of company is a parent company that has subsidiaries and the parent company is the one that does AP invoices on behalf of the other subsidiary companies. In this situation, you would just activate multi-company for the parent company and then you would activate for which subsidiary companies you can enter company expenses for. The second type is where companies expense each other. You would activate multi-company for the multiple companies and in each company setup which company that you can expense. We will cover all of this in the demo shortly. Key features include company code selection and invoice entry on the lines tab. When you select a company, the next field, which is the GL account, will now point to that company's general ledger accounts. We enhance the accounts payable invoice register and manual check register as well as show the company code that you are expensing and properly formatted the GL account based on the company's GL setup. We also enhance the accounts payable invoice register recap which is the second report that prints and on the recap it shows what's going to post to the general ledger. Currently in stage 100 that recap will group by division and we even have enhanced that recap to group by company code and then by division. So that way you can see not only the postings that are going to occur for the company that you're in but also the geo postings for the subsidiary companies that you are expensing. The update of the invoice or manual check when posting to another company will post automatically to that company's general ledger in the form of a debit to their expense and a credit to the due to. For the company that you are doing the invoice in, it's going to hit the accounts payable because the company owns the invoice and that's the company that you will cut the check from. And then the offset to the accounts payable will be due from. And I'll show you how to set up of the due to and due from accounts. Finally, we do have a separate product that's for APDT distribution tables that allows you to do a setup of distribution tables that you can assign to do a vendor that has multiple lines that can be for different company expensing. Again, this is APDT and it's a separate product that you can purchase, but it, it is integrated with AP multi-company. Let's talk about do to and do from and how that works. As I mentioned, when the parent company is expensing a subsidiary, the parent company owns the accounts payable postings on the open invoice. So the credit will be the AP and the debit will be the do from the subsidiary. And again, it automatically posts to the other company's general ledger as a debit to the expense that you choose in data entry and the credit is the due to account. All right, let's go ahead and show you a demo of the product. First off, I should point out that there are two new menu options in accounts payable setup, intercompany account maintenance and multi-company options. As mentioned, you can choose which companies that you're going to allow intercompany from and so you want to turn on or enable multi-company for those specific company codes. In this example, ABC is my parent company and I want to enable multi-company intercompany postings. So on this panel, the first option is to enable intercompany for ABC. There are other options that you see here. We're not going to cover all of these in the demonstration, but we have a lot of features that you can enable such as allowing posting dates override by invoice, 
posting intercompany GL postings in summary or detail, checking for duplicate invoice numbers and other companies. And when you create an invoice and filling in the invoice comment automatically to be the current company code and invoice number, or just the default company. For more information on these options, you can refer to the user manual of APNU multi-company. The second menu option that we've added to the setup menu is intercompany account maintenance. Once you've defined which companies you're going to allow intercompany expensing from, you need to set up the companies you're going to allow intercompany expensing to. For the ABC company, which is my parent company, I want to set up the do to do from account. On my system here, I have many company codes, but I've only defined three companies that I've allowed intercompany expensing to. I'll select the first record and you'll see that you can set up the do from and the do to accounts here with the AP multi-company. You have subsidiary companies having different chart of accounts. Account structure setup, you can see here ABX has a much different account structure than my parent company ABC. You'll be setting up the do to for each subsidiary company because they could be different account numbers. In AP Invoice, you'll now be able to select these companies to expense. If you try to select a company that is not set up, the system will let you know that intercompany postings are not allowed for that company. Next up, we will look at the AP Invoice entry. As mentioned, the main feature of the multi-company expensing is having a company code on the lines tab. So I'm going to create a new invoice and it's going to be for $3,000. And this is my landlord, so I'll be doing a rent expense invoice. And on the lines tab, it's the default to the GL account setup for that vendor. And here I can just change that expense amount. And now I can select other company codes. Here I'll be selecting ABX. I can choose the account you see here. It's pointing to the chart of accounts for ABX. And you know this because the account structure is much different than my parent company so I can select the expense account. And for the third line, I will do EEC company. That's how AP invoice entry works. The feature that you see here are similar in AP manual check entry when doing a new invoice as well as AP repetitive invoice. That is the company code column will be the first column that you can choose. Next up, we have the register and posting recap. As mentioned, the first feature that we've added to the register is showing the company code on each line. You can see here the company code is displayed and then properly formatted account. Next up is the posting recap. As mentioned, standard stage 100 groups the recap by division and we have enhanced it to group by company code and then by division. Here you can see what's going to occur when the invoices are posted to the general ledger. So for the parent company, you can see that the accounts payable account is for the full 3000 and that means the ABC company owns the open invoice and they will pay the invoice. We do have an expense for ABC, which is rent because one of the lines was pointing to ABC and the other two are the due froms and it pulls these accounts from the intercompany account maintenance that it, I showed earlier. Additionally, it shows the subsidiary companies that I'm posting to, and you can see a debit to the expense account and that I'd choose in data entry and the offset is due to. Again, this feature also exists in manual check update. That concludes the demonstration of the AP multi-company. For more information on multi-company products, you can visit dstinc.com, select enhancements, and then marketplace. And then from here, you can select a product, a module, or by group. We have a multi-company group that shows all of the multi-company products, including the AP multi-company. Here you can select the product card. You can then see a description of the product. You can also see the versions that we have available. And from here, you can download the user manual to get more information, or you can even download the installation if you want to install it on a test system.